Hello everyone, welcome to PGC Online Classroom. Today, I am going to continue our activity. But before I start the next activity, I'd like to give you the answer for activity number 8, which is about listening. So last time, I asked you to listen and find out the answer in part B. Check the information that Eric asked for. So the answer is, sorry, not go through the answer yet. So we have four options right here. The cost of a bus to the city, the location of a taxi stand, the cost of a guidebook, and the location of a bookstore. So there are only two pieces of information that he asks for. So the first one is about the cost of a bus to the city and the other one the location of a bookstore. So you can check this too, all right? The cost of a bus to the city and then the location of a bookstore. All right, so hopefully you get the answers for this too. And now let's go to number nine, the grammar focus and the right questions from WA questions. So we're going to learn about indirect questions and we use it or uh, we change from WA questions which is about direct question to indirect questions. So let's find out how we can use all of them, okay? So right here we have questions with be, questions with do, questions with can. So let's find out more about the uh, grammar point, okay? So let me bring you to the handout that I prepared for you. So we have direct questions and indirect questions. So direct question is about a question that you ask the person directly. And indirect question, so we don't, all right? But we try to make it uh, polite or more polite by having could you or can you or do you know, things like this. So whenever you add some kind of this expression, so your question becomes politer, okay? So that's what we call indirect question. So as you can see, we have three forms, question with to be, right wa word to be subject object wa word do does or did if it is a present do does if it is a past simple then you have to use did right here i'm sorry i forget verb uh, so this verb should be verb base as well um wait let me go back to this one a little bit Okay, so I need to make it small. All right, and then we plus check. So this one should be big. All right. So whenever it is a question with do, does, or did, okay, we have to take a look at the forms right here. Let me fix this a little bit. And we also have question with models. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, indirect questions. So in order to form in the questions, you can use could you tell me, can you tell me, or do you know? All right, you can use any one right here, okay? And after that, you have to use WA words. So whatever WA words right here, you have to keep it, okay? So WA. And after that, you have to use subjects for all the questions right here. All right, so let's start number one. If the question with to be, then subject plus to be, okay? If the question we do, does, or did, subject plus verb 1 or verb 2. Verb 1 is about do or does. If the question is present, so we omit, we omit do or does. You see that we don't have do or does or did anymore. We have only verb 1. What is verb 1? It's a verb base right here. So after we omit this three, this verb can be verb 1 or verb 2. If, if, if it is about do or does, verb base right here will be verb 1. And what about verb 2? It's from did, which is about past simple. If the question is about did, then you have to omit did and you change base verb here to verb 2. All right? So do does did, omit do does did, and change the verb to verb 1. And um, if it is about did, you have to omit did and then change the verb to verb 2. Okay, so that's why I use verb 1 and verb 2 right here. Hopefully you get the answers. And uh, I will give you the, the examples right here. Don't worry about that. And the question can be WA word with models, model verbs right here. So the same thing, so the difference is only subject. And then you have to move models after the subject. All right. And then you have verb plus verb base, okay. Okay, so right here, verb base to verb base, but so we just move only models in between the subject and the verb base, okay. So you can refer to these forms and hopefully you don't make any mistake with the forms right here. So now let me give you the examples. We have five questions. 
when does she live? So the question is with us. What did he say is about past? When do they? Okay, who did you? And when will he return? So you see that there are uh, variations of the questions. So right here, when you see do, does, did, you have to omit, right? Oh, I, I think I missed to be, right? So let me give you one uh, example about verb to be. Uh, let's say, where are you? Where, sorry, where is? Where is the toilet? Okay, and then you can say, so it is to be, then you have to say, you can choose, you can choose anyone right here. Let me say, do you know? All right, and then WA word, according to the form, WA word, where, and then subject, subject, subject is the toilet, so the toilet, and then to be. So to be is is. Okay, all right, so we have all the forms and all the verbs right here. So where is the toilet? You can say, do you know where the toilet is? And then question number two, second question, where does she live? And when you see do, does, did, you have to omit them, right? But because this is does, you have to change the verb to verb one. So could you tell me where she lives? That's why we have add, to add s. So because of the subject. And we don't have does anymore. You see that? So you have to omit does. And then you have to add s or es according to the subject. What did she, he say? So this is about past. So we omit did. And then we have to change the verb say to verb two. All right, as you can see the form right here. So that's why we get the answer. Can you tell me what he said? So we change the verb to verb two. When do they arrive? Omit do. And because of they, we don't have to add s, right? Because they is third person plural, so that we don't. Who did you use to stay with? That is past, and then we need to omit them, right? Could you tell me who you used to? You see that? So after you omit, then you have to change the main verb to verb to, to stay with. Another one we use with models right here. When will he return my book? So according to the form, WA word, and then subject, model verbs right here. You see that? So then you can say, could you tell me when he will return my book? So you see? So subject, model, verb. All right, so I think after this explanation, you probably can understand that. But if you have questions, you can leave me questions in our Telegram group chat, all right, uh, regarding indirect questions. All right, so let's go back to our lesson. So I'd like you to change all of this sentences from number one to number eight. And you can use, can you tell me or do you know, or could you tell me, all right? Practice this exercise and I change them to indirect questions. As you can see, how much does the bus cost? Then what should be the answer for indirect question? Okay, as you can see right here, the first one is your example. Can you tell me how much the bus costs? So only one bus, so that it just like eat. So eat, you have to add S for the cost because does we already omit that, all right? So when we all already omit this one, then we have to add S or ES, but sometimes we don't according to the subject. Hopefully you can do number two to number eight. And one more practice. This is about speaking right here. I'd like you to um, change the sentence right, uh, the question right here as well to uh, indirect question. Uh, you don't need to answer to the questions. So for example, where the nearest bus stop? And then do you know where the nearest bus stop is? So you can write down the answer. So you have to change the questions right here into indirect questions. By looking at the forms that are attached, hopefully you get the answer for this. And uh, next session, I will give you the answer for this one and also the previous one right here. All right. Once again, if you have question about indirect questions, leave me your questions in our Telegram group chat. Okay, and I will answer to your questions. That's it for today, everyone. Thank you so much. Goodbye.